Greenfield is truly a unique environment. Everybody feels like they're important because there's not as many people here. So everybody feels like they make an impact. The small class size is, is paramount to everything that goes on here. There's not a lot of distractions when you have a smaller class. It's small, so you get to, you get to know everybody. People here are genuinely just nice people. When somebody does something great, you know, you're going to be really just happy for them because, I mean, you know, they're your best friends. I just can be myself around everybody here. Everyone's involved. Uh, it's a vibrant community. It's like one big family. They were the place where you're going to see kindergarten kids interacting with the high schoolers. Day one, when I started 13 years ago here at Greenfield, I would look up to the big kids, and when I finally got to be one of the big kids, I got to be kind of a role model for the little kids. We have so many wonderful opportunities that allow our students of all ages to interact with one another. It's a great learning environment. I think what clearly sets Greenfield apart and, and what really drew my interest in the school in the first place was that it's the academic school of choice in the Wilson area. It's not easy. It is challenging, but we believe it's appropriately challenging and helping kids stretch and grow and really have that growth mindset. That's a good, when you say Ana Renado, Ana Renado. What color is Ana Renado? Orange. Very good. A child's academic future and success largely rests upon the skills, the knowledge, and capacities that they learn very early in their academic career. The E was silent and it told what letter to say his name. Good job. That was the work problem. ethics are instilled very early. I think kindergarten is the very first place. Good job. In the lower school, I would just say it's the energy. Teachers keep it really energetic and fresh and exciting. Will, 13. Lindsay, 12. Will, um, 7. Lindsay, 15. They're excited, therefore the kids are excited. And the best part about it is, the kids are learning the entire time but never realize it because, quite frankly, they're just having fun. Hands-on is especially important for young learners. <laughs> so at Greenfield, when students are in the younger grades, they're able to really engage in learning in a way that captures that young imagination. Maybe he thinks the vacuum cleaner is a monster. We have a really strong reading and writing program. There's a lot of mechanics. We start with grammar in first grade, which leads into all of the paper writing that they do. There's a tremendous amount of writing in the middle and upper school. In the middle school, I see great examples of cross-curricular projects. You know, a research paper that is being worked on in English class is being also worked on during their visits to the library with the librarian. It is also being worked on in their computer class. I really feel like uh, middle school all the way up through high school, it's a rigorous course load. It's doable, but it, it pushes you to have to go home at night and do homework and um, prepare for classes the next day. We made a decision uh, to, to send Jesse here in the seventh grade. She really took off, she thrived, and even though the, her workload was double, probably, she enjoyed it, she enjoyed learning. The faculty took the time to get to know her and know what her needs were. Now she's excited at the end of the semester, she knows how to prepare for a test. She knows how to write a paper. You really get one-on-one -on -one time with your teachers, and the classes are small, so it's, you know everybody in your classes. The thing that makes a difference at Greenfield to me is the personality of the teachers and the caring spirit. Not only are they teachers, but they're your friends and they will do anything in their power to help you be successful. They really tell you that you need to work hard and they're really interested in finding out who you are and getting to know you. The passion that the teachers have really is contagious upon the students in the classroom. You just feed off of one another. NC State, Bob who got a basketball. I love Miss Thatcher. She's she's the greatest. She's one of the best teachers out here. She's she really she makes it fun. You know, learning Spanish is fun. Um, it's me, a teacher, Jay Build a Bear. And up here on top, we do have the adrenal gland. Mr. Land was such an awesome teacher, and the, the times we'd have dissecting the most absurd creatures. You know, it was just it was funny, and we were learning, but also having an awesome time together. 
you're going to lean it so that it's uh -huh. kind of grab the outside of it with that gently so that it doesn't if a class isn't available, uh, you can always take it online. For example, I'm taking AP Statistics online and it's, uh, I feel it's a great tool. There were numerous opportunities to take AP courses, the honors courses, everything, the whole way through I just felt very prepared. Our college awareness program begins in ninth grade because we believe that students need to know from the very beginning that they really have six semesters of high school coursework to present to colleges. Instead of it, a couple months of a person's life being sent to find the right fit in college, it's really a four-year journey where they're really finding and honing, where am I going to be most at home? Where am I going to be most comfortable? Where can I thrive? But colleges pay attention to the whole student, and that's who we are helping to educate, is the whole person. Outside of the classroom, there were leadership opportunities. You could be part of the student council. Um, I did a lot of community service work uh, throughout Wilson. It allowed me to grow both academically and as a person. Community service is a requirement at Greenfield School, and it's one of the core tenets of the mission of the school. But most students go above and beyond. We have a student-run honor council, which any student has a chance to be a part of. We're very serious about our honor code here, and it's not just something you sign and move on, and it's not just a set of rules, it's something you actually live by. If you leave something somewhere, it's going to be there when you come back. That's the way that our school operates, and none of us would have it any other way. I love the sports program at Greenfield. We have a no cut policy, which means anybody who wants to be on the sports team will be on the sports team. I started tennis here in seventh grade and I'd never picked up a tennis racket before and now I'm, I'm one of the captains and one of the top seeded players. Here you can do whatever athletics you want as long as you're willing to invest some effort. We play against the best across the state, public and private. And when you come here, you know you're going to have to play at a top level every single night. Just like in the classroom, the coaches just, they really push you to do your best. They will make sure every single player gets better and every single player can, at least by the end, contribute something to the team's success. Our soccer at Greenfield is, is huge. Greenfield's always had a big tradition of winning. There's a winning spirit here, so you carry that over naturally with you wherever you go. In the past decade, we have 16 state championships and 16 state runner-up to the champions, and for a small school, we're pretty proud of that. Not only did I win state championship in soccer, I also won state championship in basketball my senior year. We've had probably in the last 10 years 50 kids that play at the next level on a college scholarship for athletics. We've had so many kids come in here with a vision and that's our job as coaches is to work as hard as we can to, to make that dream come true. And even the kids that have never played are a major part of the team and I think they realize they're just as important as maybe the most talented player. And that's why I think we have so many kids overachieve and, and love playing for Greenfield. We have an excellent reputation so it obviously illuminates the fact that the no-cut policy is, has worked in the past and it lets people shine through and be the best that they can be. I believe that family involvement is what makes Greenfield what it is. You have to follow the development of your child because the academic requirements are pretty aggressive. I remember a teacher telling me one time, don't you ever give up on anything. That would be the thing I've learned that I'm most proud of. They definitely made me feel welcome here, and they made me feel like I could be who I wanted to be. They're so confident. They know they've worked hard. They know what they're talking about, and I believe it's the faculty members that instill that in them. I just think it's phenomenal. They haven't just tried to teach you the subject, they try to teach the whole student and they want to make you a better person and they're worried about 
how you are after you leave Greenfield. It really has been a great experience. You need to look at your return on investment as far as what you get at Greenfield School relative to public education. I always felt like my kids were getting the best quality education offered in Wilson and I think their success in college is a testament to that. My family bringing me here, I'm grateful to this day. I had a full scholarship to college. The value that I see out of the tuition here um, is, is truly amazing. They are getting such a better education. You can't put a price on that. The school really affords a child an opportunity that they won't get anywhere else. It's life preparation. Whatever your passion is, you have the opportunity. The only thing you need to do is take personal initiative and grasp that opportunity and follow through on it. You can be highly successful because Greenfield provides the opportunities.